it's September the 11th. And really on this day, New York changed and the world changed. Let me tell you a bit of my story. I was flying into Boston on this day from London and I watched in disbelief from an airport pub while the towers fell. Like so many of my friends in New York who were living at the base of the Twin Towers or in the beautiful city of New York, we watched in shock and horror as something unspeakable happened. So many people have since told me their story of what happened that day in New York. And today, on this day, September the 11th, which I will never forget, I just want us to remember your story in this few moments. My story was all the flights got blocked into Boston and I flew in three days later. I came in on one of the first flights that ever flew into the States after this terrible attack. And since then, I've always had this photograph up in my studio by Rolf Uecker of the, the Twin Towers. It's quite big in terms of my studio. It takes up a lot of space, but it is a memory to me of a day that really changed my life. Well, I'm not American. I didn't live in New York, but innocence changed on that day. From that day forward, air travel changed. The way we handle life changed. And I'm sad to say that the monsters who perpetrated the act are still active and still going. But New York fought back and showed the true spirit of a people who will not be silenced and will not have their freedoms robbed from them. And the world stood with New York on that day. I want New Yorkers to remember that. About two years after September the 11th and the attack, I was in Tuscany on holiday with a bunch of firefighters who had taken some terrible losses among their friends. And we relived that day, and it will always stay with me. I know that there have been other terrible moments since then, but I think this was the beginning where the world just could not believe that people would fly a jet into that Twin Tower. So this moment is for everybody whose life was changed on that day and for all of those who made the ultimate sacrifice and lost their lives. To the firefighters who ran into the building to save people who I knew. I was in, in investment banking in those days, so many of my colleagues died on that day in this exact building. And I just want to remember everybody who was affected on that day. I know many people would like to forget this day because it, it has so many awful memories attached, but I think it's important that we remember that the landscape of New York was changed, but the hearts and minds of New Yorkers and indeed the world who supported my friends in New York and the free world, we will never forget. And so I send to you a little token from my garden on this day.